one's doing well. Oh, hold on. It's crooked. Oh, no. Okay. It's we not got crooked. Hoppy in here. What's up, everybody? So, I came to make a video for you today because we uh, don't have a lot of money. So, we watch a lot of movies on uh, free streaming. Yes. And there's something I really want you guys to check out. And I brought Hobby in so he can tell you his views as a sighted person. Yeah, and we're out on the back porch if you didn't know it. I mean, probably pretty obvious, but hope it's not it's, too bright. Um, so it's called Narrative Description. And it's on more movies than TV shows. But, uh... Really cool thing. So basically, you want me to tell them what sure. it does? Yeah. So what it does is if you go into your, like, audio... Um, let, let's say you're watching a movie and you go into the audio portion of the movie to, like, make adjustments. It'll say English Audio Descriptive. If you hit that... It basically talks the whole movie through while you're watching the movie. So you tell them what it does for you. So, Hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah, so it talks the scenes, but it will not talk during the dialogue. So you get to hear the entire movie without them describing anything to you. Yeah, so like when the movie starts, it'll say, what? what is it, Paramount? It'll say... Uh, huge, huge globe of the world turns as the words come into view, and they'll tell you what it says, and it'll say directed by, uh, produced by, and then when it starts the movie, it'll say like if it's a if it's a late night, you know, when the movie starts, it'll say the clouds uh, gloom in the sky as the darkness sets in. Mm -hmm. A long view down a, a winding road comes into view. Here comes a, a truck comes into view down a winding road. And there was the big old groundhog just came right out from underneath the deck. Sorry. So it, it describes each and every scene in detail. And as much as it can. Yeah. And so, like, the first time we did it, I was like, okay, this is so weird. Um, so, but uh, for me, obviously I watch movies with Shane, and we watch them for like the first time. He doesn't have to sit there and try to watch the movie himself and then describe it to me. Yeah, like if you watch... Because I'm already get to hear the scenes. And it doesn't talk during the dialogue, so I get what everyone's saying. So we watched a couple horror movies with it. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, it's even worse with descriptive narration. It is scarier because when you hear the, the tone of the music change, the, the voice changes, and they kind of get like this ominous sound to mm -hmm. it. And I'm telling you, it's freaky, man. I love it. First time we watched it together, I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I can handle somebody like talking throughout the whole movie. Yeah. When it was over, I never had to describe to her. I, I, I looked at her. I said, honey, could you understand? She goes, yeah, I understood exactly what was happening. That was so awesome. But the first time you do it, it is so weird, isn't it? It is. But I have to say, there is only one action movie I've ever watched with description, and that was John Wick two and three. How did, could you um, could you tell what was going yes, on? Yes, but there I've never watched another action movie with it. They hardly never do that. Yeah, John Wick. It's too hard to describe the fight scenes and the explosion and stuff like that. John Wick with narrated description is completely awesome to watch it, it with it. Yeah. Because it's actually. If you met, like you can walk out of the room to get popcorn or something to drink, and you can still hear what's happening in the movie. So, 
it would be so cool if they did audio description on football. Well, football kind of has it. You kind of get from so, the commentators. With my, I like watching football because it's slow enough. I get what's going on. But not so slow. I get my attention distracted. Ooh, it's windy. It is. I hope they can hear us. But uh, I'm telling you guys, if you ever get a chance to watch a movie, click on your options for sound, and if it says English Audio Descriptive, click that and watch I urge you to watch it with it. It is the coolest thing ever. It explains everything to you. If you miss a scene, let's say, you know, us guys, we got to go to the bathroom, right? It's like two rooms over from the living room. I can still hear what's going on in the movie while I'm, you know, doing my thing. But I don't know if that's the big plus, but uh, hey, there it is. But I like you described facial expressions and colors, what the people look like. So you're very well involved in the movie. But I have to say, the best movie I've ever watched with narrative description was the movie Old. Was that the one? That was the one on the beach. Oh, yeah. It's O-L-D, Old. Yeah, who did that? I think it was a Stephen King movie. Yeah, I think it was. Man, it it's was a good movie. so good, and I didn't have to ask one thing about it. And I got all of it. If you have somebody in your family that suffers from low eyesight or mm -hmm. blindness or maybe pigmentite or retinosis or anything like that, yep. if you have a mom, a grandmother, a dad, and you want to watch a movie with them, look for audio descriptive. Yep. It is the best thing ever, man. But yep. it needs to be in more movies. So. And a lot more TV shows. Because I watch a lot of Andy Griffith. Yeah. Because I've seen it so much, I can visualize the scenes without description. Yeah, we. I mean, stuff you watch all the time. Now, since Sarah wasn't always blind, there was shows she had seen before. So when we watch them, she knew she knows what's going yeah, on. Yeah. Yep. But I wanted to bring Shane on, so he could tell you what it's like sighted. It does enhance the movie for sighted people. It does. It's awesome. And it helps. The Low vision to complete vision loss really helps them entertainment value-wise. I'm telling you guys, try it. Yeah. The first time you do it, you're going to be like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. You do it more than once, you're going to be like, this is the coolest thing. I love it now. I wish it was on every movie. So I have to say this. Rhonda Tucker said she wanted me to challenge my viewers, I challenge you to blindfold yourself and watch the movie with description. That's an excellent challenge. Give me the rock, baby. So, Rhonda Tucker, blindfold yourself, watch your movie, leave me a comment. Yes. All right, we'll see you. I think we're done, right? That's what I wanted to bring you guys. I had a blessed day. I believe Hobby had a blessed I did. day. I hope all you guys have a Blessed day, blessed week. Be safe working. And always remember, no sight, no problem. Bye! Bye.